How to download IPSW original iPhone sign files on Windows PC easy methods. Hello guys. In this today's video, I will be educating you guys on how to download IPSW original iPhone sign firmware on your Windows PC. A lot of you have been DMing me, me on my WhatsApp group and uh, also in my whatsapp number asking me how to download iphone files and this this information is generally for a lot of people out there maybe paraventure your your i device entered iphone disabled or iphone unavailable now the surest way for you to do such a thing is to download an ipsw file which is the original iPhone sign firmware and restore your device using either 3U tools or iTunes software. So at this point in time, I am coming up to educate you guys on how you can easily download IPSW file, which is original iPhone sign firmware. Now at this point in time, if you're using your PC or your or your mobile phone, but in this video I will be educating you guys on how to use your PC to download an iPhone signed firmware. So at this point in time, we're gonna be using our Chrome browser browser. So all you have to do, you open your Chrome browser, then you type on your Chrome browser, type IPSW dot me when you click on when you type this ipsw dot me all you have to do is to search click on search now as as you can see it will take you to the yes, to to the site where you can download all original iphone sign firmware as you can see this is for iPhone device this is for iPad and iOS device this is for Mac this is for vision this is for Apple TV and this is for home pod but majorly this is the the one we're gonna be working on today as you can see this is iPhone device so all you have to do is to click on the iPhone on the iPhone all you have to do is to screw down when you screw down you see a lot of iPhones we have iPhone 16 Pro iPhone 16 iPhone 16 Pro Max iPhone 16 Plus iPhone 15 Pro Max 15 Pro 15 Plus 15 iPhone 14 we have iPhone XE iPhone 13 we have iPhone 12 we also have iPhone 11 Pro Max, iPhone 11 Pro, iPhone 11, iPhone XE 2020. We have iPhone 12. We have iPhone X Arrow. We have XS Max. We have XX. We have iPhone X GSL. And we have iPhone X Global. But mostly, when it comes to this part of this iPhone, there is something I want to educate you guys in. When you're trying to download an iPhone X file, always download the one that is indicated global so that it will not select your device. So at this point, we have iPhone 8 Plus global, we have iPhone 8 global, we have iPhone 7 Plus global, we have iPhone 7 global, then we also have iPhone XE, we have 6X Plus, we have 6S, we have iPhone 6, we have iPhone 6 Plus. Then we also have iPhone 5S, iPhone 5C, iPhone 5S, and we have iPhone 5. So all you have to do is to look for the exact 5 iPhone 5 you are looking for then let's assume that we are actually looking for 
iPhone X Global. All you have to do is to click on on the iPhone on the icon. It will take you to where you you get access to the download link. Now, as you can see, this is the file iOS 16.7.10. And you, as you can also see these are the files that have been unsigned and as you can see you can no longer be using this file that has been unsigned to update iPhone X or any iPhone iOS so at this point in time anyone you see here this one was released on the 7th of August 2024 which is the this is the current uh, size of the of the file 6.17 gigabytes now this is the sign IPSW file if you're if you're downloading this is the exact one you will download anyone you see that it has been marked red know that this iOS this IPSW file has been unsigned for that reason it will no longer be used to restore any iPhone so at this point in time if you want to download you go to this point where you see this green that has been tick good you click on it when you click on it is either you can copy the link here if you're using your phone in order for you not to be having issues with your Chrome on your phone if you're using your android phone you copy the link here you go to uc browser and paste the link there and download it will download very fast and even if on the way your data got exhausted you can actually subscribe again and recontinue but mostly on chrome browser on your mobile phone that maybe the chrome browser is not updated when it has paused when you want to restart it will ask you to re-download again so it is best you you use a uc browser to download so guys this is the easiest and simplest method on how to download your ipsw firmware as you can see now you it the same thing applicable to ipad if you want to download your ipad these are the iPads that you are seeing. You go straight to their channel. You see a lot of iPads, a lot, depending on your model. The same, the same process it takes to download iPhone device, iPhone uh, uh, signed firmware. That is the same process you go through to download any iPad signed firmware. Thank you guys for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like comment your thoughts if you, if you find this video interesting hello guys this is the continuation of the first video we have just watched now i was actually educating you guys on how to download an ipsw file now in this situation let's use a particular phone maybe go into practical so that you see how the process is like let's assume I have iPhone 7 global here with me and I want to download the I IPSW file so how I will do I will click on it now when I click on it as you can see these are the files that have been unsigned we are no longer going to use this file again so I want to download the current sign IPSW which is this one which is iOS 15.8.3 you can see 19H3 H386 this one was released on the 29th of July 2024 the current gigabyte is 5.4 as you can see this is the build number so let's assume you want to download this all you have to do is to click on it now when you click on it, you scroll down, you see the download option, this is where you download it. Now practically, if I should click on download now, you see, the IPSW file is beginning to download. As you can see, the IPSW file is beginning to download. Now, 
in a, in this situation i already have this file in my pc so how I, I will do i'll got to cancel it now let's go to the folder now i created a folder on my pc ipsw.me i created a folder now these are all the ipsw i have downloaded now this is iphone 7 as you can see this one has been unsigned it will no longer work on any iphone 7 5 so probably you got to delete now this is the current ios which is ios 15.8.3 now i will be using a particular phone to carry on this practical now all you have to do there are two ways two tools you can use to update any iphone device either you use three u tools or you use itunes but practically i will be showing you how to use three u tools so you connect your pc you connect your device to your pc now as you can see this iPhone 7 is currently on iOS 12.2.1 and the current iOS is 12 is 15.8.3. Why this iPhone 7 I'm holding right now is iOS 15.2.1. So in a situation whereby you want to update this iOS, all you have to do is to put your device on recovery mode. Then you hold your, your side down button and connect your data cable. As you can see, now your iPhone is on recovery mode. Now you can proceed by flashing. Either you call it flashing or you update your iOS so as you can see I have already imported my file now in a situation whereby you have not imported this particular the letters uh, IPSW file you can see the option this option import will be written here at this point where my mouse is so all you have to do is to click on import when you click on import you locate the particular folder where your IPSW is, is located all you have to do is to click on it as you can see it will be it will automatically import the moment it shows you imported all you have to do is to click on it when you click on it you can click on quick flash if your iPhone is on disabled or iPhone unavailable you can click on quick flash and you click on flash at this point in time your device will begin to update let us practically do it now and see how the process will look like so at this point you click on flash as you can see the process is ongoing thank you for watching you can as well subscribe to our channel for more updates Thanks for watching our videos and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more. We profound GSM solution at Genos Tech channel. Subscribe, like and share.